Hello everyone. So for uh, today's uh, video, so we're going to have a system or uh, software walkthrough uh, with the USO Epon uh, 2 Pon OLT. Okay. So in order for us to do that, uh, so we have to manually assign a static IP address. Okay. So change adapter options and then in your uh, device just change the uh, management IP address which is um, 192 uh, so we'll type in right here 192.168.0.2 since the management IP address is 192.168.0.88 so after that go ahead and open the google chrome browser and then type in the management ip address of the olt so which is 192.168.0.88 and then you will be prompted here with the username and the password so by default it is admin and admin but for us uh, we've already changed this the uh, password of our olt so you will be direct redirected with the admin uh, dashboard for the use olt so we can see here some tabs for the system uh, system info rather we can see here the versions of the software and the model of the OLD you can also see here the MAC address of your device and the CPU usage and the the memory percentage and for the network we can see here the device IP for the management IP address and for the administrator tab you will see here the list of username or user accounts you also have here the system time all right so the current date and time of the OLT and then for the system task so we have here task setting and then the port of course a system log and we have here the log and then system log config so the server address backup config factory setting and then you also have here the system reboot if you want to reboot your olt and of course the system upgrade if you want to upgrade the version of the software of your olt and we have here the olt management you can see here for the overview and just click that one and you have the types of operations right here uh, you can reboot and disable operations for the OLT CTC tab enable or disable the IGMC proxy and then for the bridge we have here also okay so these are the some common settings for the OLT management that you can work around with all right so return and then we also have here the tab for the ONU management, so ONU. So for the ONU, you can see here the total offline or the total uh, ONU of your device for each spoon. And also we have here the online and the offline ONU. And then for the ONU list, we can see here the list of the, again, the down and up for online and offline ONUs. And we can also hear the, each of the ONUs reading from your NAP going to the client uh, ONU and then we can see also here the uh, uh, search box if you want to search uh, uh, ONU just type in the MAC addresses right for the uh, MJP snooping and pretty much the same with the overview uh, you can see here the MAC addresses and then for the deletion of the ONU, you can delete here the non-active ONUs. Okay, so you can select and then just click the delete button. And then ONU auth mode. So you're just going to select which phone you're going to uh, configure. So for this OLT, uh, there's no uh, configuration. Many configuration has been made. So just basic setup in port isolation uh, just uh, some overview of the ONU and then for the port config we have here each of the gigabit uh, ports so we can see here the speed of that port 
So that means this is a gigabit port and the port speed indicates that it is 1000 M and the duplex settings is in full. You can also hear the uh, module TX or the power of your uh, module. So same with the uh, gigabit. So it indicates the port speed 100 since there is no active connection for that. And for the port statistics, we can see here the packets. Uh, bytes uh, running for each of the PUN and each of the uplink interfaces. And for the port status, uh, you can determine the status of the ONU for the, for the client. And then for the statistic, the same, uh, you can determine the ups and downs or the online and offline ONUs. The MAC table, just basically the same with the statistics. Alright, so let's go to the VLAN config. So if you want to have a multiple services for uh, one port only or, or one PUN only or another PUN, so you are going to configure the OLT with a distinguished VLAN. So we have here you can set VLAN ID for each of the PUN and uplink ports. Right? Just have to fill in the villain ID here. here. Uh, the same for the uh, port VLAN or in you. Okay. So there's nothing uh, selection in here. Right. For the Banway config, we have here for the OLT and ONU tabs. So for the OLT, we can select here the. Uh, we can set here the specific bandwidth if you want to uh, filter the bandwidth management for each of the uplink uh, ports. Okay. For the UNU, you can also customize here uh, bandwidth, assign bandwidth for the specific connected ONUs of your OLT. But for this uh, OLT, uh, we don't have we don't set any bandwidth management right here. It's because the bandwidth management we set that is in the router okay so but you can also uh, pretty much uh, set here the appropriate bandwidth if you want for your clients all right so i think that's it for this uh, tutorial so uh, if you want a tutorial on the a client setup so we can have a, a a separate video for that so for this uh, this is just a system walkthrough walkthrough or walk around for the software or the system of the uso olt epon 2 pon okay it's a 732 cst okay so if you think you like this video so can you hit the subscribe button and uh, that's it for this video thank you very much for watching